Hello, I'm Heather Dawson and welcome to California Life. As always, we bring you the best of California every week on our show. So let's start with the best colleges in the state according to Forbes. At number one, Williams College is the leading higher education institution in the U.S., followed by Stanford University and Swarthmore College. The first Ivy League school to show, Princeton University, comes in at number four. Two other Ivies made the top ten, Yale University at number six and Harvard University at number seven. Rounding out the ten finest schools in America are Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Amherst College, U.S. Military Academy, and Pomona College. Well, Pomona College is a private liberal arts college in Claremont, California. Established in 1887, it is the founding member of the Claremont Colleges. Let's take a closer look at the city known for trees and PhDs. Claremont is a quaint city nestled in the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains at the foot of Mount Baldy. Claremont is the last city in Los Angeles County, about an hour away from downtown LA. Driving down Indian Hill Boulevard, Claremont feels more like Connecticut than Southern California. Maybe that's why it's known for trees and PhDs. It is a village. It is a community. We don't have any big boxes. We don't have any drive through restaurants except one right off the 10 freeway. And I think that uh, that effort has paid off in its uniqueness. I don't think you'll find another community in Southern California that has such an identity as Claremont does. Claremont has more than 100 acres of parks stretching over the city's 13 square miles. The city was once part of the San Gabriel Mission, which was established in 1887 and incorporated in 1907. Today's population, 33,000. The first known inhabitants of Claremont region were the Serrano Indians. In 1771, they settled on a mesa a few hundred yards northeast of the intersection of Foothill and Indian Hill Boulevards. Smallpox took a heavy toll on the indigenous population, and by 1883, the few remaining Serrano Indians had left the area. In 1871, W.T. Tooch Martin, the first Anglo-European resident of Claremont, filed a claim on 156 acres near Indian Hill Boulevard. The Santa Fe Railroad ran through Claremont in 1887. This is where the city began, the village. The village houses many of Claremont's stores as well as City Hall, the Claremont Public Library and Chamber of Commerce. It is one of those cities where you feel like you know everybody. Everybody knows your name. I hate to use that, but you can walk around the village and you will definitely see someone you know. What you don't see? Fast food restaurants. We have a lot of unique shops, one-of-a-kind restaurants that you can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner at. Um, we are also expanding the village area of Claremont. Much of what Claremont is today is the direct result of actions taken by the community's founders more than a hundred years ago. Trees planted at the turn of the century were surrounded by the local citrus industry. Claremont growers established one of the earliest citrus cooperatives that led to the Sunkist organization. So we got the trees covered, now the PhDs. The Claremont Colleges have become one of the nation's most highly respected educational and cultural institutions. Seven colleges make up the Claremont Colleges, Pomona College, Claremont Graduate University, Scripps College, Claremont McKenna College, Harvey Mudd College, Pitzer College, and the Keck Graduate Institute of Applied Life Sciences. The founders of Pomona College wanted to establish a school of the New England style. Students just starting preschool to middle school, high school, and college benefit from Claremont's educational environment. Being here in Claremont, we're able to take the children over to the colleges for special events. We interact with the very active senior citizens that are in the community. We have extension programs where many college students and um, young faculty will come over and teach our students in the afternoon and be part of our arts program. So we'll have great workers such as Sam Maloof who does great woodworking and other various artists that are local part of the Claremont community. So we're very lucky to tap into these great resources that's part of the city. 
the city of Claremont has stuck to its roots. A quaint city filled with beautiful foliage, open spaces for nature, original restaurants and businesses, a well-known educational system, and a true village where you can relax under a tree and work on your PhD. Money Magazine named Claremont, California the fifth best place to live in the country. Well, it's been the year of the drought, but this next story has 25 ways to save 25%. David Wiley explains. California is in its fourth year of drought. In many parts of the state, water supplies are running dangerously low. Virtually every community and water district has been ordered to drastically cut water use. So it's more important than ever to learn how to manage your own water usage. Typically, a large percentage of water use at any home is in the yard, watering grass, trees, and bushes. Well, we find that in California in particular, about half of the water that people use outdoors is wasted, and most often it's from watering too much, watering too often, and not watering efficiently. Uh, many people are still dragging hoses around the yard. And the problem many Californians are facing is how to save their lawn and landscaping while meeting the new water use restrictions. Well, especially now with the drought going on, it's really important to water efficiently. So putting in uh, things like smart controllers that adjust themselves with the weather or uh, rain sensors or high efficiency nozzles, um, even things like uh, subsurface drip irrigation, what uh, our homeowner has done here. Uh, you're watering the lawn from underneath and you save a tremendous amount of water and keep the plants healthier. Upland homeowner Chris Plant has a beautiful lawn and yard which seems to be the exception during this drought, but he's actually taken steps to drastically save water while keeping his grass and plants green. He uses drip irrigation for the bushes and subsurface irrigation for the lawn that actually brings water directly to the roots. So a drip system in general is small amounts of water that are put out right at the root level of the plant. So uh, with what Chris has here in a, a turf or a grass lawn application, it's a network of tubes, sort of like a high-tech soaker hose. And water comes out every 12 inches. It's very regulated and controlled. So you're watering a, a nice wide area, but again, you're watering it from underneath. But you can also use drip on shrubs, on potted plants, on uh, garden beds. If you have a flower or vegetable garden, drip is a fantastic way to water. It's, it's been a really nice system. I haven't had to do anything to it once I put it in. Uh, basically, it's, it operates, and I don't have to worry about anything failing on it basically because there's no heads or anything else that would pose a potential problem later on down the road. It was definitely a decision that I would make again. And if subsurface irrigation is not for you, there is other technology that can save water and money, like weather-based or self-adjusting controllers. They combine the traditional timer with a weather sensor. So it measures the temperature, the rainfall, and uses a database of five years of historical data to tell you exactly how much you should be watering, and it does the calculations for you. So you don't have to worry about going out and changing your clock or changing the times. It knows how much water you need based on the actual weather, and that keeps plants incredibly healthy and cuts your water bill by 30 to 70%. And many of the devices, like the self-adjusting controllers, water-efficient nozzles, and drip irrigation systems, are eligible for rebates. You can check with your local water district for details. To help make your yard, home, or business more water-efficient, Rainbird has developed a website that explores 25 ways to be more water-efficient. Um, you know, we don't need to get rid of all of our grass, our plants, our trees, if we just water more efficiently. Um, there's so many ways that we can save water. Making smart choices and using the latest technology can go a long ways in helping you save water during this difficult time. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life. And coming up next on California Live, we're talking with a Shark Tank success story who has created a lighter, healthier drink that's worthy of Americans' wine culture. It's all coming up next when we continue right here on California Live. Don't go away.
Founded by Jacques Lubin and his partners in 1990, Inc. Plan USA has helped thousands of entrepreneurs to form legal entities throughout the world. Our clients have also made productive use of the various services that we offer, initial company registrations, bank consulting, virtual office services, and more. Inc. Plan's clientele continues to grow primarily from customer referrals. We are affiliated with Corporate Holding Services, a highly respected Delaware firm that advises large U.S. and international corporations. Have you ever wanted to be a mermaid? Check out The Two Tails, a company specializing in mermaid tails of various colors. From deep sea blue to shimmering white, not just tails, but accessories, wall clocks, swimsuits, and mermaid hair. Tails are made of spandex nylon and fitted with a monofin so it can propel you through the water like a real mermaid. Because they're made with so much stretch, they're one size fits most. Check out the twotails.com and be the mermaid you've always dreamed of. Plan your next stay in beautiful Mission Bay at the Catamaran or Bahia Resorts. Just minutes away from SeaWorld and the San Diego Zoo, the Catamaran and Bahia are the perfect spots for your family vacation or romantic getaway. Enjoy a barbecue on the beach, Hawaiian luau, or Brazilian carnival. And hop on board the hotel's Mississippi-style sternwheeler for a sunset cruise on Mission Bay. Visit catamaranresort.com or bahiahotel.com to book your stay now. Hi, this is Steven Tyler, and I love California life. Hey, I'm Christina Perry, and I love California life. We love California life. Hi, I'm Joe Buck, and I love California life. Hi, I'm Nick Barrios, fashion designer. You may know me from Project Runway, and you're watching California Life. Welcome back. Our guest is Shark Tank success story Jayla Siciliano. After striking a deal with Mark Cuban, Jayla has created a lighter, healthier drink that's worthy of America's wine culture. Its unique blend of low calorie ingredients and great taste make Bonifaire the ultimate wine spritzer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And I have to say, I've actually tried the product and I loved it. I think I might be the perfect demographic <laughs> because you know, you go to an event and Maybe you don't want a beer, maybe you don't want a really heavy daiquiri, and it's somewhere just light and in between. What made you create this? Similar to you, I used to work in an industry where there were a lot of dinners and travel, and I'm not a big beer drinker, but I love wine. And as I was getting older, I found I kind of needed a lighter option that I could sip on, have a few glasses, still make it to the gym in the morning. So I started making wine spritzers at home, and then I found friends started asking for them, and I decided this was really needed on the market. I quit my job, thought I'd have it off the ground in a year, and it's taken me quite a while to get it going, but things are finally going really well. And you did have some hiccups early on. It took me a year and a half to raise the first round of funding and our first bottler ended up putting the caps on incorrectly and the caps were leaking. We were actually shipping boxes and they were showing up soaking wet. So I lost over $100,000 worth of inventory, almost had to close the doors, ended up kind of finding a new bottler. My investors put in more money for a new production run, but I had no marketing money at that point. So that's when one of my advisors was like, you need to go on Shark Tank. So I applied, I actually got on, and that gave us a much needed boost um, of exposure to kind of get things going. Were you surprised when Mark Cuban 
you know, came forward? Yeah, I was shocked, actually. I didn't think I was going to get a deal because I had so many issues going into the business. I'd already raised all this money. Alcohol is a crazy industry. So super, super thankful that he made me an offer and ended up partnering with him. He's been amazing to work with. I love the packaging and you have the aluminum. Tell me a little bit about that. So that was actually Mark's initiative. Right after we closed the deal, he was saying, you know, we need a pool friendly container. We found this unique aluminum bottle that's made in Europe. It's definitely that perfect fit for this lighter, kind of healthier summertime wine option. What are your plans on just marketing it? We're really focused on a lot of moms, but it's really people who are kind of active and healthy. They love to drink wine, but they think about kind of what they're putting in their body. They think about the ingredients. We have a full nutritional panel on the back of every bottle, so you can see exactly what's in it. It's zero sugar, nothing added to it, no preservatives. So really doing a lot of fitness events, fashion events. Um, we work with a lot of spas and salons, and so very kind of grassroots marketing. And we finally got to a point where we're able to donate 1% of sales back to micro lending programs. I never would have gotten this off the ground if somebody didn't give me money and believe in me to do this. So that's something I'm really passionate about and giving that back. How many calories are in a serving? 100 calories in an eight ounce serving. So 300 calories in the whole 750 ml bottle. So about half the calories of regular wine. It is something that you have to taste. So what's the best way for somebody to get the product? We can ship to 37 states online at bonafair.com. We're in most Whole Foods throughout California and Texas, Total Wine and select retailers. If you go to our website, you can see a retailers page on there. Well, thank you so much, Jayla. And again, I'm a big fan. Thank I do you. love it. And I wish you all the success. Awesome, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And coming up next here, we've got the best of entertainment, so don't go away. Welcome back. Big news from Beverly Hills. Celebrity plastic surgeon, Dr. Andrew Orden, has discovered an anti-aging breakthrough called fill and freeze and He's giving away one million bottles free. I've spent nearly 30 years looking for an effective instant breakthrough to reduce the appearance of wrinkles that can be applied topically instead of with surgery or invasive medical techniques. And I finally found it with Derm Exclusive's Fill and Freeze. Wow, I'm young again. I don't feel like an old lady. Lines are gone. Oh my God, wow. I can't believe it. It looks really good. It gives you a whole new confidence. It definitely took 10 years off. If I went to a dermatologist here in the city, I would pay three, dollars $400 for this. I know you're wondering what Derm Exclusive can do for you. Well, you don't have to wonder. You can order it right now and try it for yourself absolutely risk-free. And here's how. Call now during this special direct-to-consumer offer and you won't pay $120. Today, you can get your own instant results with Fill and Freeze for only $59. But that's not all. Today, we're taking another $20 off, so now you can get this instant wrinkle-removing miracle for the low price of only $39.95. And as part of our 1 million bottle giveaway, Dr. Orden is including a second $60 bottle of Fill and Freeze free. That's nearly $120 of Fill and Freeze for only $39.95. Dr. Orden will even include his micro peel resurfacing pads, intensive repair serum, and collagen lift moisturizer, a $200 value, free. Order now and we'll even upgrade your order to express delivery. That's a $15 value, free. Plus, you even get to try it risk-free for 30 days with our money-back guarantee. But you must call to order. Call 1-800-619-1871. That's 1-800-619-1871. Order now.
Summer brings a bounty of fresh fruits and vegetables to our local grocery stores and farmers markets. And with that added selection, it makes for a perfect time to create new salad combinations. Chef Hugh Atchison, author of the book The Broad Fork, encourages everyone to try making those fruits and vegetables the star of your meal. If you can't do that in California, then you should move because you guys are like the bounty of vegetables and fruits. There's such an abundance and such variety out there that I think it's just time to celebrate all that stuff. And Chef Atchison says a good way to celebrate all that stuff is to tell a story. Tell a story with fruits and vegetables. You know, I think that you want to tell a story about seasonality, about where you're from and the people who farmed the vegetables. And you want to figure out who the farmer was who brought the beautiful carrots and has the avocados. And that's this simple roasted carrot salad that we made. So it's got bene seeds, which is kind of a sesame seed from where I'm from. It's got beautiful almonds and California avocados. So it's telling the story of our agrarian ways in the United States of America. And that's the story I want to tell is about bounty. He and Newman's own dressing are wanting that delicious salad recipe to do some good for others as well. That's the idea behind the Greens for Good contest. Share that salad recipe and you could win $35,000 for the charity of your choice. We want people to enter their best salad recipe using a Newman's Own dressing and the winner is gonna get $35,000 donated to the charity of their choice. So they've got some skin in the game. So as you're putting together your salad recipe for the Greens for Good contest, Chef Atchison has some tips as you hunt for those perfect ingredients. You just want to go to the market or go to a great grocery store and find what's really good value. Good value usually means that it's in abundance and it's in season. So right now at the farmer's market, I'm finding a ton of beautiful carrots. I'm finding avocados. I'm finding almonds and sesame seeds. And we're dressing that with balsamic vinaigrette. I've got some parsley as my greens, just pulled beautiful leaves of parsley, and I kept some of the tops of the carrots. And that's really becoming my salad. And then I shaved a bunch of beautiful Parmesan Reggiano over the top. So if you have a favorite salad recipe or you've come up with something new, why not enter it in the Newman's Own Greens for Good contest? I think salad fans nationwide need to go to newmanzone.com and it's backslash greens for good. And they need to enter by August 21st with a great recipe. And then we will figure it out on who's going to win. I'm going to be judging it. So make sure it's good. Bringing you the best of California. I'm David Wiley for California Life. And now let's check in with Audra Stafford for key trends that will impact the future of mobility, technology, and transportation. It's no secret that Silicon Valley is a high-tech hub. You get access to a lot of resources, a lot of talent here. So it makes sense that one of the nation's largest automakers, Ford, would choose Palo Alto to house its research and innovation center. They're trying to look at different ways that they can leverage technology and innovation to help address a lot of our transportation challenges and congestion that we have in our growing cities. Tech expert Mario Armstrong had a chance to check out a few of the projects that are in the works, like the InfoCycle. Ford has developed this bike with the sensors, and those sensors gather data in real time. And what that'll do is help us better understand how bikes are being used for urban transportation. But those sensors can also give us other types of data, maybe about our fitness or even about our air quality. The Mode Flex is one option Ford has developed for urban communities. The e-bike connects seamlessly with a rider's smartphone to provide real-time weather and traffic information, as well as eyes-free navigation and it folds easily to fit in the trunk of your car. Ford is also working to develop autonomous vehicles. One of the cool things that really blew me away was the first time ever seeing a car park itself. Yes, I just said that, the car park itself. We're talking tight spaces, we're talking parallel parking. A lot of people struggle with parallel parking. And soon, he says, you may even be able to control your car with a flick of your wrist. So even wearables with the MyFord Mobile Touch app, the MyFord Mobile app allows you to touch your smartwatch, remote start it, open or lock the doors, all types of things that you can now control right from your smartwatch. Armstrong says voice recognition capabilities are also improving. 
A lot of people may have tried voice recognition before, and maybe it didn't work that well before. I can tell you the upgraded Sync 3 is amazing. The natural voice recognition works really seamless, and the screen has all your entertainment and communication needs right there on your dashboard. Technology is constantly changing, and Armstrong says the talented team at the Research and Innovation Center is doing its part to be a driving force. There will be other cars that will be adding in other technologies and other manufacturers that will be doing those things. But i got to say, looking at the playing field and the things that I've had a chance to research and see, Ford has been leading the way with the technology in the vehicles. Bringing you the best of California from Palo Alto, I'm Audra Stafford for California Life. That's it for us. If you missed any part of our show, go to our website, CaliforniaLifeHD.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. We'll see you next time. Or watch us on our YouTube channel. Stay connected to our social media, like our blogs on Facebook. Follow our tweets on Twitter. And check out our posts on Instagram and Pinterest, where we bring you the best of California.